Hey there, do you believe in dog myths? There are these common dog beliefs that just don't hold up under scrutiny. You know, like when your dog licks you, it's them giving you a kiss. Nope, not exactly. Sometimes they're just after that salty goodness on your skin or maybe wishing you'd regurgitate some food for them, like wild wolf pups do. What about these human years to dog years conversion? One human year doesn't always equal seven dog years. It's more like a myth that got out of hand. Different dog breeds have different average lifespans, so it's not a one-size-fits-all kind of deal. Then there's the tail wagging. Sure, it can mean your pup is happy, but it could also mean they're anxious or even a bit aggressive. Who knew a tail could signal so many moods, right? Plus dogs eating grass just when they're sick? Nah, they might just be munching away out of boredom or stress, similar to how we fidget. Oh, and don't get me started on dogs being the cleanest with their mouths or needing bones to chew on. Truth is, their mouths aren't cleaner than ours, and real bones can lead to some serious vet visits. And hey, shaving dogs in summer for their comfort? Turns out it can cause more harm than good, especially for those double-coated breeds. It's also worth mentioning that not all dogs dig fetch and that a tired dog equals a good dog isn't always the case. Sometimes it can lead to more hyperactivity. And let's debunk the age-old myth about being the pack leader. Dogs are more about forming bonds than asserting dominance. Lastly, the infamous nose-rubbing discipline for accidents? Nope, that's not the way to go. It's better to use positive reinforcement for potty training. Oh, and that doggy lick. It might not just be kisses. Your dog could be tasting remnants of your last meal or just showing affection. All these myths surrounding our furry friends sure keep us on our toes, right? It's all about understanding and loving our pups the best way we can.